here we go, guys. After starting one and five on the season, we're now 11 and six. That's just mind blowing. If you guys need to be caught up, here we go. We're going to look at the playoff picture just real quick. Baltimore Ravens, number one seed. We got the Seahawks, number one seed for the NFC. And the Bucks are number two for number two in the AFC. We got the Chiefs. Then we got the Patriots, the Eagles, the Titans, the Bears, the Jets, the Panthers, then the Falcons. How did the Falcons make the playoffs? And then finally, the Cleveland Browns. So that's that. We got a bunch of tough teams in the playoffs and we're a wild card team. Let's get into this. We have a huge game, Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans. A game nobody would have expected us to be playing in season number one. The Chiefs won their game. They blew out the Broncos. So the Chiefs will move on in the playoffs. Not really a surprise, to be honest. Kind of keeping up on that wildcard scoreboard First play of the game is going to be a run, and we get a huge hit on Derrick Henry for a one-yard loss. Like I said, we got to contain Derrick Henry. We got to make sure he doesn't get any big gains because once he gets gone, you know, he'll be gone. Here we go. Tannehill looking to pass. Quick pass to the sideline, and it is third down and four for Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. Tannehill under pressure, but... He gets the ball away just in time for a first down. All right, here we go. First down for the Titans. Derrick Henry is gone. Oh, my gosh. I mean, we got one man upfield. He's able to bring him down. But, man, what a huge rush. That wasn't Derrick Henry, though. My bad. That was B. Hill with that carry. So, they got two running backs that we got to contain. I don't like that whatsoever. He's up the middle. Oh, goodness. This is going to be a really tough game. But keep in mind, we started last week by losing. And then we came back and we just were able to stop them. So, if we can do that in this week, we should be able to win. But our defense needs to step up when it's really needed. Especially in a spot like this. Third down and one at the six. Have to stop them. Hold them to a field goal here. And we're not able to. Uh, that's right. 7 nothing. We get the ball. We get our first drive of the game on offense. And we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can make some noise. Here we go. I think before we do anything, I'm going to do something that's kind of scary. We're going to start Zach Wilson in the playoffs. This is when we need him to play his best. If he plays good in the playoffs, he's going to be our starter. We're going to get rid of Jimmy, but we need a Jimmy. Here we go. Looking to pass. First pass of the game is completed. Crowder upfield. He is oh, pushed out bounds at the five yard line. The first pass of the game is a 70 yard gain. 69 yards of passing. Crowder what a goat looking to pass end zone two plays and just like that we are tied up here we go first down looking to run oh Tannehill almost sacked and they dropped the ball as well that's exactly what we gotta do we did defeat the Titans earlier in the season so keep that in mind that's really good here we go quick pass that's going to be a first down we just can't allow that. We can't let him go under pressure and then just get the ball away. And that's another first down under pressure. And they're passing the ball. I expected them to come out running a lot. Here's a running play, though. We're able to stop them. They can't run the ball, so they're looking to pass a lot. Derrick Henry is not in the game. I'm not exactly sure why. It's kind of weird. Here we go. Second down and eight. Looks like another run up the middle. Stopped just short of the first down. We're just not able to answer. I mean, we hold them to third down, and then after that, it's just like we can't do anything on third down. Here's a run. We stop them. They, again, they can't run. Second down and seven. Another big stop 
would be great and would do. I believe they lose a yard or two there. They lose two. Holding them to a field goal here would be awesome. I would be completely fine with that. Third down and nine. They've converted so much. Why do they go for a run? They know they can't run. And they're going to have to settle for a field goal. Our defense actually stopped them on third down. I feel like if they passed, we probably wouldn't have. But they get the field goal. It's a 10-7 ball game. We still have time before the half. Like I said, though, I want to be able to run the ball a lot. Let's give it to Le'Veon Bell and see what he can do against this Tennessee defense. Ah, a couple jukes back. Six yards. We'll give it to him again on third and four. I don't like it at the same time just because I'm scared of him not getting the first down. But he does. But yeah, I don't want to give up any interceptions. So running the ball is very crucial. Especially because it, it runs the clock down. And as we know, no matter how much we're winning by, if we give the other team time to score, they're going to take that time to score. Big pass to Le'Veon Bell. He makes a grab. Exactly what we needed on third down. Le'Veon Bell getting a bunch of touches here. And that's a two-minute warning. So what I'm going to do, we're 30 yards away from a touchdown. Let's go ahead and run the ball a little bit. And if needed, we'll go ahead and pass when needed. Just let the clock tick down because that way they don't have time to take the lead before the half. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we get the ball after the half as well. So a touchdown here would be awesome. Le'Veon Bell will get the ball. He is going to be stopped short of the touchdown on purpose. Don't worry. We're going to hack the ball. Le'Veon Bell. I'm going to let them stop me. And then I'm going to hurry up offense. Man, imagine if I don't get the touchdown here. How mad I'll be. There we go. Looking for the end zone on this play. Le'Veon Bell. 30 seconds remaining before the half. Is that enough time for them to score? Yes. But I think our defense will be able to hold them off. I think we got this. Obviously not going to run the ball here. So maybe I shouldn't be calling these running defensive plays. There we go. Second down. Quick pass. That's a first down. Another timeout. All right. Here we go. We have to stop them right here. They have 18 seconds, one timeout. They're at the 49. They want to gain field goal range. That's overthrown. Let's do something big here. Try to go after Tannehill there. They have 10 seconds. They're at the 43-yard line. Probably the final chance. Are they in field goal range? I think they are. That's the first down. But I don't think they'll get the field goal team on the field in time. There we go. They don't. Zach Wilson having a great performance. I don't think I've ever seen him perform this well in a game. And he hasn't started a game in a very long time. What a pass by Zach Wilson. He moves downfield for a first down. Oh my gosh. Zach Wilson to Davis. Zach Wilson. Keep doing what you're doing. Under pressure. Gets the ball away. Almost intercepted. That's all right. By the way, 6 for 8. 153 yards. Zach Wilson, have a day. Especially in the playoffs. First playoff appearance for most players on this team. And for him. 7 for 9 now. Two touchdowns, by the way. I mean, he's doing everything right in this game. Will we see Jimmy? Maybe. Maybe. It really depends. Looking upfield. Oh, almost intercepted. I was kind of scared to throw there because I did see him, but I did risk it. Maybe not a smart move on my part to risk it there. Good blocking. All right, couple yards. On third and four, we're going to give it to Carter. Why is Carter in? Le'Veon Bell must be uh, fatigued. Doesn't matter. Carter gets a first down in a little bit more. I'm okay with Carter being in the game. Not my ideal person to be in the game just because I rely on Le'Veon Bell. That's caught a couple yards. But yeah, all season I've been giving it to Le'Veon Bell. So I'm not familiar with Michael Carter or even this running back. I believe Adams was behind this guy. And 71 spun like a top. What just happened here? 
I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> oh gosh, this game. Why even have that as a physics in this game? He literally just break dancing over here. Third and two at the two yard line. If we don't get here, we're going to go for it. Obviously we have to in the spot. Looking to pass pressure, but that is the end zone for a touchdown. We take a bigger lead, much more breathable, up by 11. That's big. Like I said, being able to hold them off, score before the half, take the lead, and then be able to score again after the half. That right there might have just won us the game. So after we scored a touchdown, they went three and out, and Dreamlabs OBS decided to crash. Luckily, luckily, it didn't corrupt the entire file. However, their three and out was not recorded. So we get the ball back. We get good field positioning. Just got to move forward. It's really frustrating that I lost that three and out because that was big. We had a huge sack on Tannehill, and they weren't able to move the ball at all. So... It sucks, but we just got to move past it. It's whatever happens. Hopefully it didn't happen again or I'm going to be really mad and frustrated with Streamlabs. But we get the ball. We're moving downfield pretty well. I mean, I don't know what just happened there. And I don't know where Le'Veon Bell is. It's actually a little bit annoying now. But we should be fine without him. We'll see, though. What? No, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. That is, nope, nope. I refuse, I refuse for that to be my fault. I'm gonna show you guys why. So the route, this was not the route. He was supposed to go up here. And all of a sudden, yeah, you can see I throw the ball here and he's over here. And you can see him start going whoop, whoop like that. That was not what was supposed to happen. I throw it right here. Instead of going this way, he goes that way. So by the time I throw the ball, it's too late. It's way too late. Not only that, but even if the route was over this way, he wasn't even ready. That's just not my fault at all. That's ridiculous. They get the ball back. We have to hold them so it doesn't turn into points. And Tannehill under pressure. That's out of bounds. Nope. I'm not holding that against Zach Wilson at all. That's all on the receiver. That's on the CPU. That's absolutely ridiculous. Tannehill under pressure again just throws it away. We're getting pressure. We're able to make sure he doesn't make a good throw. And our defense is stepping up right now. Tannehill under pressure again. And he is sacked. That might, maybe should have been a fumble. I don't know. They're going to go for it, obviously, here. They have to, down by 11. Here we go. Need to make a huge stop here. Tannehill under pressure. Almost sacked, almost intercepted. Doesn't matter. We get the ball back, and we get out of the 35. I'm mad about that interception. CPU is stupid. But it doesn't matter. Let's get a touchdown here. Let's forget about what just happened. Throwing it deep, end zone. He does not hold on. All right, we just ran the ball. It's now third down and two. It's time for a first down here and close this game out. Zach Wilson, end zone. What a catch right in front of the defender. I got scared once I threw that ball, but it doesn't matter. This team is too good. And just like that, we get a touchdown. And looking for that extra point, it's up. Off the upright. That's my fault. The upright. I, I I could care less though. 27 to 10. We're up by 17 in the fourth quarter with five minutes to play. I don't think they're able to come back right now. But we'll see. Here we go. A huge drive for us. Our defense is stepping up. Gang pressure on Tannehill. But that's a first down. All right, here we go. Tannehill under pressure, throws it, quick throw. Almost a first down, but we stopped them. Second down and five now. It is cold. I forget if I mentioned it, but you can see the breath from the players. 
So it's a freezing day outside. And that's intercepted! There we go! That's the game! That is the game. Huge interception. Might have just sealed the deal, really. Our defense is just on fire. And I don't mind Michael Carter being in the game now. Because why not give Le'Veon Bell a rest for the rest of the playoffs coming up. And let's just score another touchdown because why not? What a game though. I mean, it did not look good at the start of this game at all. But we've came back and we fought back. And Zach Wilson has had an incredible first game in the playoffs. This team has just done everything possible to win. But hurry up offense, running the ball, that's the way it is. For the final minutes in the fourth quarter, that's another first down. And it's just a couple plays at a time. Ooh, good spin. And we are down to the two-minute warning, possibly. No, we get another playoff before the two-minute warning. That's a first down, I believe. And we get another running back in the game. First down and goal. Two minutes remaining in this game. Good blocks up the middle, almost into the end zone. Looking to pass under pressure. Zach Wilson goes down. That's all right. That lets the clock tick more, though. That's kind of a good thing. I'll be honest with you. No, I didn't purposely do it, but the next play is a touchdown. They have one minute, and they're down by, what, 24? No shot. We're up. Pending the extra point. It's going to be 34 to 10. What a game. They haven't called a timeout yet. 30 seconds remaining. Oh my gosh, another play where I didn't mean to stop. It's overthrown again though. Those plays kill me, man. Those are must intercept plays. Here we go, Tannehill is sacked. That's a ball game. Third and 19 at the 44. I don't even think they're in field goal range. Again, not that it really matters. That's completed, but we also play defense, so it's not completed. That made no sense. They're going to punt the ball in fourth and 19. I get it's fourth and long, but why punt the ball? I mean, they just waved the white flag. Why not see Zach Wilson's arm in action? Deep pass. He actually completed that. We're calling a timeout. <laughs> I cannot believe that was completed. That was honestly unexpected. They're going to have no time. Even then, who cares at this point? We're just going for a touchdown here. Deep on the throw. Or on the run throw. Intercepted and then done one second left. Who cares? I would like an interception just for the sake of it. It doesn't matter. We win 34 to 10. That's the game. It's over. It was over before the fourth quarter even started, really. Zach Wilson, 11 for 18, 249 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. One of them, really not his fault. Rushing, Michael Carter did good. I don't know why Le'Veon Bell didn't play a lot. I'm really confused about that, but Michael Carter, kind of our backup, he did good. Uh, Corey Davis did good. We got Le'Veon Bell had some receptions as well. Um, Moore, Eli Moore did great. We got Henderson getting involved. Crowder. Overall, what a game. The one thing I'm very excited to see is who we play in the divisional game. But first, let's take a look at this. Congrats, you called your shot and now I have a game ball with your name on it. Way to get the job done. Nice. Assistant GM is happy. 10 staff points. Is that all we get? I mean, that was a pretty big, uh, pretty big victory. Let's advance. See who we play in the divisional game. We got the Baltimore Ravens, a team we have not seen and then from there in the AFC Championship, it's either the Chiefs or the Patriots. And then as far as this goes, the Bucks get knocked out, the Falcons get knocked out, and the Panthers. So it's either the Eagles, the Bears, the Rams, or the Seahawks. 
one of those four teams could face us in the Super Bowl. But first, we have to get past the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. So make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on a huge division matchup. I mean, this is a huge game. This right here is huge. Let's go ahead and get a W in the next game. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in my next one.